Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Jen and this is Farabee. Today I want to tell you the story of how Farabee and I met. So Farabee and I met in uh, July of 2019. Farabee was nine and a half weeks old. We met um, because I was basically matched with a poodle. So I was breed matched with a poodle. Um, everything that I filled out, you know how you can like go through and figure out what breed would best suit your needs type thing. And I had done that so many times and I kept being breed matched with Poodle. So breed matched with the Poodle, then I started trying to find Poodles, you know, that would do what I needed. I found her breeder. Her breeder has a lot of service dogs that come from her dogs basically. And so that was really good. And then her breeder also had a really good health guarantee for the puppies, which I really liked. There was a lot of things I really liked about her breeder, so that was why I went with her breeder. But then, as far as me actually meeting Therabee, the breeder that I got her from, you don't get to pick your puppy. You fill out this really long, I guess it's kind of like a survey type thing, and she finds out information from you about what you need a dog for, what your needs are, what your lifestyle is like, and all, you know, and it's... I want to say it was like 20 pages. It might not have been, but in my mind looking back, it was like 20 pages. It was a ton of information. And I was matched with two possibilities. I was matched with blue collar boy and I was matched with purple collar girl. Basically, I was close enough. I was maybe three hours away from them. And so I arranged a time for me to actually come meet the puppies, to, you know, kind of decide from there, like which one I wanted. And to be honest too, my cover very full of ears before I even went up there, like if I had just, if I had just um, picked a puppy on paper or like through your match with these two and that was your two options, I would have picked the boy. But I was like, because Bella was a girl, hold on. Let me back up to why I wanted a boy. I love girl animals. Um, all of my, this is my kids up here. So all of my other kids with the exception of Oscar were girls. Because of how close I was to Bella, and Bella and I had like, I always say Bella was my significant other. We had like this crazy, just like bond. Like I, I just could never imagine that with anyone else. And so I've always heard, number one, that boy dogs will be in love with you and girl dogs will love you. And Bella and I, it was kind of opposite of that. Bella was like in love with me and I loved it. She was so in tune with me and like, I just couldn't imagine finding that again with another girl dog. Um, and not to say that's always the way it is, but that's just, that's kind of a common thing that you hear. So anyway, I was like, I really think I want a boy and I really wanted a big dog um, or a bigger dog. Bella was 10 pounds. So to me, bigger is, you know, fair is huge. So I was like, I really want a boy. If I had just picked on paper, I would have just got blue collar boy and called it a day. But since they were close enough for me to meet them, I was like, you know, I wanna go up there and actually meet them and make sure that like I'm filming it with this dog, you know? I basically went up there, which was totally crazy for me to go up there because I'm not a, let's get in the car and drive three hours by myself to a stranger's house on the interstate and over the river and through the woods and whatnot. Like, I'm just not that way. Like, I'm like, ooh, yeah, why don't we not do that? There was already like a weird magnetic pull t for me to go there for whatever reason. Like, I just felt like, called to go there, I guess. So I went first, whenever I got there, her breeder had, she had her living room set up to where it was like a puppy playpen was basically half, maybe, maybe like third of the room was a puppy playpen. And Farabee's mom could get in and out, basically the puppies couldn't. Uh, whenever I arrived, her mom came out to like greet me. I was like, oh my gosh, hey, I'm gonna be your baby mama. <laughs> it's literally what I said to this dog and I kind of don't think about it like people don't know me whenever I say stuff, but I was thinking, oh my God, I just said that out loud to this dog and I don't know these people. So that was pretty funny. Um, but I'll always remember meeting Fairy's mom because she jumped on me and her little hands were like right here in her face. She's a little bit bigger than Fair. So her little face was like, you know, a little bit higher than where Fairy's goes on me now. And I was like, hi, I'm going to be your baby mama. Um, so that was funny. So anyways, <laughs> I went in the house and um, her breeder had me sit on the floor um, so that, you know, basically the puppies could meet me that way. And after I was sitting down, she opened their little baby, baby pin thing, whatever play pen area thing, and the puppies, you know, could come to me. And 
like some of the puppies were like over here and over there and whatever. And you know, some were like kind of coming towards me, some, whatever. Dude, therapy. And I didn't know which puppy was which, by the way, because they're all fluffy. If you've ever seen a, a baby poodle puppy, they're like nine and a half weeks old. They're like just all fluff. And like, you can't see their little collars and stuff. She didn't have collars on them, but like, you know, I couldn't see that. They're like, you know, Tons of hair. Faraby made a freaking beeline to me like we were long lost lovers and I was like, oh my God, is this one when I can have? Obviously she's like, yeah, that's purple collar girl. And I was like, oh, okay. Like Faraby was like, boom, you go with me, let's go. <laughs> like Faraby was all about me. So, and that's her personality with everyone. Um, and I've heard people say this too, like, your dog's personality whenever they meet you that's their personality whenever they meet everyone so you know it's not that it's not that Faraby feels like we were long lost lovers and we just needed to be together because Faraby is like that with everyone at the time whenever a puppy runs up to you and it's just like jumps on you and is like mama <laughs> you're like yes this one so she would not leave me alone and i was just like okay well i guess this is the one you know because she was all about me and i was like all right sweet I did sit there for like probably 45 minutes with all of them and just made sure that that was definitely gonna be the one. Um, like I said, I had a choice of only two of the nine. Funny story, I wanted a big, I wanted like the biggest boy poodle of the litter. Faraby is a girl. Also, Faraby is the runt of the litter. And this was stuff that I had internally wanted. Like, I don't think I ever told her a breeder that. I think I was just like, these are things I want because she wouldn't let you have, I don't think she might would have let you have preference on gender. I don't think she would though. I don't think that was an option. But this was just stuff internal that I was like, I really want a boy and I really want the bigger of the puppies, you know, because I wanted a big dog. She's the smallest of all of her siblings and she is a girl. She's perfect. Faraby is three times as big as Bella. Bella was 10 pounds. And so to me, Faraby is a very big dog. I know she's really little. In to a lot of people, it's like, your dog's only 30 pounds, she's tiny, but she's huge to me. The day that Faraby and I met, she came home with me. Whenever Faraby and I arrived home, um, you know, I had everything ready for her. I was so ready for my puppy to come home. And I had a crate ready for her to sleep in at night. And I was like, okay, well, this is where you're gonna sleep at night and whatever. And she cried for about, I don't know, a couple seconds. And I got her and I put her in my bed. And she slept in my bed since the night she got home, basically. <laughs> so, kind of a fail on my part, but we're happy that way. She never had an accident in the bed or anything. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to tell about this situation. Basically, it's just a really sweet story of her picking me. I just exactly what I needed, and I didn't know, you know, I didn't know that's what I needed. So, are you gonna let your little sweetheart over here? She's so sweet. She's the best thing. Faraby and I have almost the same kind of bond that Bella and I had, which really surprised me because I never thought I would be that close to anything ever again in my life. You know, it can happen, I guess. I guess you can have more than one animal that you have that kind of like just crazy bond with. She's perfect and I'm so glad that I have her. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. I'll link some videos that are relevant to service dogs uh, and the pop-ups over here. And I hope you're having an awesome day. We'll see you soon. Bye, guys.